Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very natural makeup look for you. This is for those of you who are in a hurry, in a rush, in the morning. It will help you look put together, but won't kill your time. And on top of that, you don't use that many products. Either for my students, my working ladies, anybody that is out there that doesn't have more than 15 minutes to get ready, this is for you guys. For you guys, yes. I like wearing this. Whenever I have like last minute plans and I only got like a couple minutes to get ready and I'm just like I want to go out but I don't want to look like I'm dead. So I just like kind of put my little face on. I don't worry about putting eyeliner on when I'm trying to do this look because this is more for that natural beauty enhancement. I don't know what the hell I just did there but okay. If you guys are interested just keep on watching. I start off by using Luminous Primer. I like using the L'Oreal Lumi magic primer it shines really nicely through your makeup and it gives you like that really nice luminous look underneath um i first start off by applying this high points of my face high points of my cheeks forehead down the bridge of my nose around my chin and then whatever is left over on my hands i just pat it all in the rest of my face and just blend it out really nicely next i just go onto my brows so this is how they look like now so now that I have my brows in place, basically what I do next is whatever concealer I have left over, um, I'll go ahead and just, just conceal my eyes because I do have a lot of veins on my eyes. Because I don't know if you guys could tell, but I do have quite a bit of veins right around my eyelids that just like to show through. And sometimes it just makes me look like a zombie, so I'll just go ahead and conceal those. I don't use any heavy primer, I just use the same concealer that I used. And that is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I just pat it in. Nothing special. My everyday makeup looks, I just, you know, breeze through everything. So after that, I'll go ahead and grab my foundation. Today I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Lumi foundation. Since I am a little bit darker, I just use this one by itself. Matches my skin a lot better. Normally I would kind of just blend it in with my Maybelline uh, Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, but because like I said, I'm a little darker today, this matches my skin just fine. Now, since this is my everyday makeup look and normally when I do this, this makeup look, I'm in a hurry. I don't worry too much with covering up any blemishes i don't i don't really mind some of my blemishes showing through but i do go in just a little bit on like my really dark spots with a little bit of concealer to kind of just even those dark spots out but i don't worry about too much about like the really small ones my goal pretty pretty much is just to make it look as natural as possible make it look as much like skin so i don't go too heavy-handed and again for perfect foundation application always pat that in like push it into the skin make sure your beauty blender is damp pat it in really good now for those of you who are wondering why you must wet your beauty blender first of all it just creates a really airbrush finish and on top of that since it's already wet it also prevents too much absorption of your liquid foundation so once foundation is done i just go in very lightly with a little bit of concealer not too nothing too crazy just do a light layer of concealer and then I just pat that in just to brighten up my face a little bit more. So once that's done, that's when I go in just a little bit. You see like I have, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I am breaking out very slightly these last couple days just due to stress. And I'll just go in and just dab those. I don't go too crazy on my everyday makeup looks. It's just the really, really dark ones or the really, really red ones. From there, I'll go in with a cream highlighter and just pat it in to the high points. I don't know if you guys can see that, but pretty much the high points. If you guys do have any breakouts in that area, be, be very careful with how you apply your highlight because sometimes that will make your blemishes and your, um, and your bumps just kind of pop out a lot more. Since it's summertime, I like to look really glowy. Another tip too, always do your creams first before any powder is applied to your face. No, you just wanna go back in with your beauty blender and blend that in really nicely. Now from there, I'm gonna grab my Elizabeth Mott Contour Palette. I love this palette, I got it off of Amazon. And I'm gonna go in with an e.l.f. small tapered brush. I am gonna tap into this yellow color right here. I don't do no baking on my everyday makeup looks, I just pretty much just set that concealer very lightly. I go all over, because again, we're in a hurry. You gotta do this fast. Into that same contour palette, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, mix these two colors. This is my Sephora Must Have Large Powder, number 30. And I just basically just pat those two 
pat off the excess and this is gonna bring warmth back to my face so i'll just basically pat that all in on the outside of my face and by doing this it'll just create a really nice subtle bronze now when i go in circular motions guys i literally have the brush like this i don't know if you guys can see that but it's barely touching my skin this will create a more airbrushed look so i just go all around I just pat in wherever I want some color to my face, around my jawline, and then just buff it out. Oof, my hair is all over the place. Don't really contour my nose. On my everyday makeup looks, I just do a quick all over bronze. Now, I'll go in with a large shader brush, just like this, and go into that same contour palette, and basically what I do is I kind of use it as eyeshadow and put it all over my crease just to create some depth in my eyes it would make us look a lot more awake and you could just keep building up on that just keep going back in same shader brush i don't really discriminate too much i'll go back into that yellow contour and just pat it all over my light areas and just blend it out really nicely all you're doing here is just enhancing the dark and light areas of your face with very similar colors. That's pretty much all you're doing. That's how you're gonna achieve that really natural look. You guys could use eyeshadow if you want, but for anybody out there that's in a hurry that doesn't have the time to be precise with eyeshadow, you could always go in with, it, with your contour palette. The same way you would contour your face, you could kind of contour your eyes. Now for my next step, I'm gonna go in, just you know, pick any blush you like. I've been loving this Makeup Revolution blush palette. This is the Hot Spice for like my more natural days. I've really been liking this color and this color mixed together. I tap my brush in both, tap off any excess. And this is the e.l.f. Uh, complexion brush. So your blush looks really nicely. You could just smile very, very simple like this. Instead of applying it down here, apply it right in this area right here. If you apply it down here, it'll just drop your face and it'll make you look droopy. But if you apply it up here, even if you, you know, get out of that face, you're gonna look more awake. And it will, it'll just look a lot nicer, to be honest. First you pat it in, and then you very lightly, guys, I'm talking about, that's how light I blend this in. I don't put pressure on my face. You don't want to put pressure because what that will do is that will move your foundation. You just very lightly blend it in. Since blush is pretty much supposed to mimic your natural body's way of blushing, which is your blood rushing to the surface of your skin, once you get most of the product off where you want it, blend it out really good, bring it up. I like bringing it up towards my nose. Right there. And I also will bring it down right here. No additional product is basically whatever I have on my brush. This is why it's important you tap it, tap off the excess. And you just very lightly blend it all out. This is for my everyday makeup look. This is, this is the look I do that I just, I want to look natural, but I want to look put together. Because if I just walk out the house with no makeup on, let's be honest, I look like something that just crawled out of The Walking Dead. So to avoid that. <laughs> I just kind of like enhance myself a little bit. I like going just a little bit over my nose. That will give you that really cute effect when you had some sun on you. So then from there, I'll go in with my highlight right there. Just pat it in very nicely right up here. A little bit on your chin. Keep its bow and the bridge of your nose. And just put it on the details. So my inner corner. So I'll go in right in here. I'll define my nose just a little bit more. Keep as well. And then with my finger, I will go in right in the center of my lid. And I'll just pat that in very nicely. And once that's all done, I use my beauty blender to go in over everything and just pat everything in. Blend everything in very nicely. Curl your lashes, ladies. I don't put any eyelashes on on my everyday makeup looks because, you know, we don't have time for that. Once I curl my lashes, I'll go in with my Big Shot Mascara and just very lightly just apply a coat, a coat or two to my eyelashes. So once mascara is done, all you gotta do is just put some lip gloss on. And um, this is the Smashbox uh, Be Legendary Lip Gloss in the color Sugar Cane. actually smells like brown sugar 
And then after you're done, what I do is to make it last, especially on those hot summer days, is that I set it with a setting spray. So that's pretty much it guys. This is my everyday in a rush makeup look. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Um, if you have any ideas of any, any videos you would like to see, again, just comment down below. I'll try my best to get them to you. I do try to upload every week, so you'll see a new video every Friday. And that's all guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. I can't work on my posture. Shoulders are like, ugh. <clears throat> I talk it so much. This thing made me just feel like I just took a shower. Why do I get so tongue-tied?